Hello you awesome guys and girls, I'm Anthony aka Mad Wizard and welcome back to the workshop. This is part three of me building a blacksmithing forge. Why am I building a forge? Uh, because I want to forge my own blades, it's as simple as that really. So if you haven't seen the original parts of this uh, sort of video collaboration, the links to the videos will be in the description box below so go check those out and then you can view these ones and then if you're up to date then great we can carry on with the video. So yes how we left it off last time is that uh, we got all of the bits together so now it just needs a lick of paint and a few finishing touches and we'll be ready to fire so that's fantastic so no time like the present let's do this thing So if you thought the rest of this video was just going to be sitting there watching the paint dry, well, you've got another thing coming. We don't do things like that over here at Mad Wizard Weapons. So basically, what I said at the beginning of all of these uh, video collaborations is that if you want to be a blacksmith, you need theoretically three things apart from the material that you're actually going to be working on, that you need an oven or something that you're going to heat your material up with. Uh, you need something to hit your material with, aka a hammer of some sort, and you need something to... Uh, used to actually hit your material on, aka an anvil of some description. So I went out and I bought myself one of these. Yes, my first anvil. Not too sure on the colour, I don't think it matches my eyes, but uh, who knows, I mean, maybe we can make it work. So basically what we need to do is, uh, so we've got the anvil, but what I need is a sort of stand uh, for it to go on. I can't put it on the workbench, unfortunately, because I need that workbench to work, basically, like, you know, so by having the um, anvil on there it would just be annoying like you know to keep putting it on and taking it off and it's sort of like the table wasn't really structurally made to um, be able to take repetitive force of me hitting it over and over again on top of an anvil so basically what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically make a stand uh, so that I can move it around and then as I say like you know I can put the forge there and then I can put the anvil there so uh, yeah that's basically what we're going to do and what we're going to start with is this huge thing here which happens to be a railway sleeper that I got out of a skip so basically we need to go outside and uh, top and tail it to make it flush and we need to drill a few holes so yeah that's what we're gonna do and I'm gonna put this down before I keel over oh, oh God. back to the music Nearly there. I'm 
People say I need a gym membership.
So there you go, we got the forge all spray painted up and ready to go. I've tested all the uh, gas lines so she's ready to fire and I've got my anvil stand as well. So basically no time like the present. Let's fire up this bad boy and let's see what happens. So there you go, the forge is completely finished, the anvil stand's completely finished. I'll say, I've had a quick go on it, I mean there's still a few more things that I need to adjust, like um, like the burner to make sure that it's running right, and uh, just a few little odd things that I have to do here and there. But I mean, all in all she's working fantastically, I am so over the moon with it, I'm not going to touch it because it is red hot at the moment. I mean I could literally fry an egg or some bacon on top and I might test that out actually if I can fry some bacon on the top but anyway uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the uh, this blacksmithing adventure sort of montage thing that I put together as I say if you enjoyed the video give us a big thumbs up down at the bottom of the screen and of course subscribe so you don't miss an episode um, when I get round to actually uh, doing a sort of forging project, I say I've got a few ideas in mind that I'd like to uh, give a go at. So um, I'm going to play about with this a little bit more, like you know, just to um, just hone my blacksmithing skills a bit, like you know, because as I say, I mean, I'm completely self-taught. I mean, as I say, I mean, I haven't got anybody over me teaching me how to do all of this I mean it's just going on sort of videos that I've seen on the internet or uh, books that I've read and uh, just basically getting down to just having a go really it's as simple as that so as I say if you're interested in uh, giving it a go just do it it's fantastic like you know but as I say do your homework um, as I say this is not in any way how to because as I say I I have no idea what I'm doing like you know as I say I do my homework and hopefully it works and long and behold it has worked so you know that's all good so uh, yeah hope to see you on the next one as I say hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait to uh, see you guys again in the future so until then see ya bye